All right, it has come down to this. The final part of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I got to say, the support in this series meant a lot to me. Uh, part one was my most viewed video up to this point in 2024, so thank you for that. Anyways, love you all. Best night ever. Let's go ahead and get this. 30 minutes? Oh, no. We gotta find a route. Okay. Does it really matter where we go first? Oh, this might be one of those things where we gotta like... Okay. Well, uh, I guess here first, right? Okay, team. It's time to take on our biggest data gathering exercise yet. This won't be a walk in the park, but... But I know we can do it. Come on, hero. Focus. <sighs> We're phasing the truck over to get a better look at Brainiac Shields. And we're gonna get a better look at his soldiers inside. Got it. It's kind of cool coming back here. Everyone on this world wants you dead, Task Force X. <laughs> a multiversal constant, I suppose. Truck located. Ready for Operation Han Simon? Gotta say, beating the crap out of people can really brighten up a wasteland. Okay, we're starting with some pretty wide scans, which will bring a lot of Brainiac's guys right down on top of you. Sorry. Also do everything, right? Look out! Steroids is bombing his top. So it seems like just get enough stuff done to where you can actually fight Brainiac, and then once you're here, do more stuff to get ready for the fight as well. <laughs> I can I see that. Cool. He's oh shit, we gotta go. Oh, it's full. I gotta deposit. Hold on. Alright, first one's down. We can just deposit these other ones, right? Well, we're trying to fight everything. We don't really actually have to do that. <laughs> Alright, inside here, we're chilling. All right, traverse to the next location. You better move out to the next location. Numbers boys plan doesn't work. We could try yelling, "Boy, Brainiac, get your purple ass out here!" Twenty-six. Okay. This is actually wild. We got seven. Hold on. That's a lot there. You get a lot from the major enemies there. All right. Let's go back and get the rest of them. Not sure if they go away or not. That should be 15 now after this one. We need 26. Hey, thanks for all the support in this series, by the way. Kind of an unexpected game early on in the year. I wasn't, I don't know, to play like a looter shooter in a DC type universe. I was not expecting that. An outlier that I will capture. There's a lot of things I can see them patching, though, like making traversal a little bit easier, stuff like that. Or not really like easier, but just kind of more friendly. That should give us a lot, right? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff dropping. Can't hold I on to these bad boys too much longer. Wait, three, three more. Gotta 
might empty my pockets soon, huh? All right, X marks the spot. Let's see. Is that really the... So we got to go here, and then I'm guessing... I'm guessing here is like the final fight. What about over there, though? Huh. Task Force X's attack is on. Let him draw focus before we step up our cyber attack on that shield. We'll need a surge of stimuli to keep Brainiac's network overloaded. In other words, you should kill everything. You think they need to be told that? Okay, Mom, Dad, we gotta go. Bye. I see, like, no point in fighting anything but the major stuff right now. I've heard they're gonna include, like, other characters. Our enemies. They have a critical weakness. Bugs ahoy! Always been a dream of mine to destroy the incubators. Okay. Another dimension. What? Everything's attached to these enemies. Okay. Have to whack the goons guarding this crystal. Oh, I think the helicopters need to go down first. Swing and a miss, Quinn. We're gonna interact, don't we? Yep. All right, that's E. We gotta go for. There's a lot of them. My goodness. Oh yeah, it's broken. Do I get a prize? That one goes down there, I think. Nope, that's connected there. Ooh. I will crush upon them. So shielded, must be some crystals to bust up. There's so much on the screen right now. It's actually I crazy. That on this incubator. Now let's have fun. Talk about a toxic environment, yo! I can kind of see the appeal for this, but I wonder how many times you have to just like level up your good gear and everything. I need chills. Hold on. Next time we bust up this stupid crystal, it better die busted up. Shields. So the entire thing is time, which is kind of scary, honestly. Punishing Harley's target for its existence. Hey, you leave bats hanging drum. Firing a quick. King Shark every time I gotta shoot him. Some are just <laughs> Oh yeah, kill the shield, then the incubator. Crystal smashing time. Guess this incubator's shield still has some batteries left. Let's kill him. Eliminating dead shot. What for the clown's tricks? She's armed with explosives. Just like Chris finding where everything is is kind of funny. Because this is attaching over here. Which I'm assuming. Really. Did I just like, did it go around? 
threw a grenade to just like, was like, nope, we're good. I'm 100% dead here. All right, major one up here. Let's see. Than I did your Justice League. I'm 100% gonna get some revive there, yep. Oh, what is this? We're still alive, which is surprising because I thought I was dead for a minute. Well, you gotta walk this incubator or not. All right, C's the only one left. You're on its margins. Defend the last incubator, and you might earn an infusion. I right, should be the last incubator one, hopefully. Shield levels have spiked. Ooh, now come on. I see. Get the incubator while it's hot. Last but not least. <laughs> Everything's in motion for us to breach that vault. So listen carefully. I'm only going to say this once. First. Get in position, and we drop the shield. Ah, uh, can you say it twice? I'm not so great with verbal direction. Second, you go in and neutralize Brainiac. Third, you bring him back. The second step is an endangerment of life. I like it. Your support squad is standing by. We should be able to phase in assistance. You mean, we'll be able to, right? Good luck, Task Force X. <laughs> kind of nervous that this is like 18 minutes left. Distracted. Oh, how about this? I'm going to break your bodies, hollow out your minds, and rebuild you as my pets. With what? Your special brain powers? Ain't gonna work this time. No, I thought we'd try something a bit different, just for fun. My name's Vril Docks. I'm the fastest man alive. You see, my terminals also enhanced me. Through them, I can reshape this body for battle. Command the Speed Force. Eliminate you. It's kind of like the Flash, it looks like. Same thing as the Flash boss fight. How do I actually do damage to him? I don't even see him. Ah, 
Did I not mention this body is designed to regenerate? Got the drop on. Can't do anything. Okay. Uh, hold on. Now that I'm back on form, shall we continue? What's he about to do? He's gone. This will be much simpler if you just stood still. And then with the counter. I got one. Health bar is crazy. What in the world? I did like nothing there. to send in the cavalry. You're wasting your time. Surrender to me for integration. I'm assuming that was the damage phase and we just didn't do much. <laughs> How's it going? I'm not sure if we can throw a grenade that far. No, One I missed. Moment, <laughs> I was about to say. And this body will be restored. I can activate that way with the Data, data, data. I must have more data. Are you ready to submit? Need up all your toxins, brain boy. Need up. Come on, well, come on, come on. <clears throat> Aren't you clever? What's the matter? Fight not going as well as you hoped. So just get as many counters as you possibly can, got you. As I'm getting farmed right now. Yo, every time I go to aim, he's gone. I fear I'm losing my impartiality. It's best if I take a step back. Your anomalies with a misplaced confidence in common. See how the fight's going, but it's a little like I'm doing something wrong. I mean, Restoring obviously, we're doing something the right. The health bar is dropping. He comes out here and does like a little pulse wave thing, and then he splits up. You gotta just keep countering, it seems this like. what you wanted. Take your best shot. These destructive capabilities are most pleasing. Right there's one. And they keep rotating around and stuff. Break them there. Maybe the only way to actually do damage is to counter. That's what it seems like right now, at least. Well, assuming if we can fill up the bar, we're good. One more. Oh, 
Explosion imminent! I'm being drawn into your silly little earthling struggles. Time for a mind cleanse. Could have been better, but whatever. We're doing some damage. <laughs> Doesn't feel like much, though. Nice. A lot of shields. Let's go. Yeah, it seems like everything is kind of revolving around the countering with this fight. Because I'm tolerating this little performance, I get tired of the witty retorts. Ah, did I not mention this body is designed to regenerate? Seems like he's more. I retested this toxin on many of your missions. Okay, health bars dropping. Every time we do, I guess it's just like. Accumulation of all the stuff we've already that done. Unfortunate. So we just gotta keep breaking right here. Get ready. Yes, it seems I will have to oversee your subjugation directly. Break right there. Let me reintroduce you to some former civilians of Metropolis. Careful now, they're quite volatile. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Time for a big. Well, this has been entertaining, but I must end our little tussle. Ship, activate extermination protocol. I've been waiting for an opportunity to test this. Wheels are just sitting there. You will die, all of you. Self-destruct on. Get clear, gang. Uh. I'm not sure what they want us to do. Shoot, Brainiac. It's like most of the damage is when he gets in the middle and he like does that like little ball thing. And then Let's see how you fare against this. This is just like extra damage, it seems like. Yeah, he just keeps vanishing. Or like falls too far back where I can't really even see. Your group dynamic is proving difficult to predict. If yourselves, I think. Time for a stronger application of my powers. He's on the ropes. No one talks shit about my parenting. That's a lot of tornadoes. I feel like I'm doing everything right. This is just a tough fight. <laughs> it's a very limited amount of time you can actually do damage. You ready? No, it's my chance. After the shot, you can then counter. Bring him to the middle, maybe. I anticipated your actions and prepared this response. That's kind of cool seeing him like create the tornado. I'm learning a great deal about my capacity for extreme violence. I would use the car, but it doesn't seem necessary right now. There we go. A lot of talk about shortcomings, mate. That's quite enough from you. Ah, My projections predicted something akin to this.
Now, where were we? We must escape with our quarry. Do you plan to carry him the entire way to Earth One? Who says I can't? Squad Five, Tiny Brainiac, Zero. All right. That was pretty good. Brainiac action figure. Still in box. Slightly is. Let's sell him the Toy Man! We cannot. I will devour him, remember? And then the pooping. Come on, you already got to do the giant space shark thing. Let someone else have a turn! <coughs> You straight up executed the damn Batman. And you got to say something cool before you killed Lantern. I'm thinking a plastic bag, some poor poor ointment, then we insert Brain Man into no. a. No, man. What the hell are you four doing now? Where is Brainiac? Relax, Lexi. Got him right where we want him. Shit. <sighs> I swear to God. The data spike only works on a live target. Perhaps I can modify it in time for the next alien invasion. Or perhaps I should use it on one of them. Harkness, what are you doing? Well, how else are we gonna get through all the doors on the Skull Ship? <gasps> on non-recurring anomalies unique to each dimension. So, we get to play with a bunch of cool shit from alternate universes, and then what? Retire? Once you've defeated all 13 Brainiacs? Yes. You mean 12! Hmm. A kill list. We can work with that.
All right, Brainiac eliminated. That was definitely not what I was expecting. Story completed. Nice. Okay. Are there credits? I don't know if like, just go straight to the end game or what. Oh, there is! Okay. Well, guess I'll give my thoughts. You know what? I mean, for what it was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best game I've ever played. And it wasn't what I was expecting from Rocksteady in general. But, let's start with like, the pros, I guess. I like the graphics. I like the gameplay. It's kind of fun. As far as a loot-based game, it's also pretty well designed. I haven't seen the end game yet, which is right after this, but maybe like bonus videos if they have like other characters. They're like the Jokers on the way. Um, but I don't know. I mean, overall, it wasn't bad. It was kind of like a weird kind of story with Brainiac controlling everybody. Taking on the Justice League is not something I was expecting from like Rocksteady. You know, if they ever made like a Flash game or a, imagine a game revolving around like the Joker. I was going to say Batman, but we got, like, several of those. <laughs> uh, but any other character, I mean, in Arkham Knight and all the other ones, you play as, like, Catwoman and a bunch of other characters. You could easily have implemented those into this game instead of playing as the Suicide Squad and just playing as, like... Imagine alternating between Batman, Superman, Flash, and, like, I don't know. I guess Green Lantern or Wonder Woman. Like, any of those would have been perfect for what they were kind of doing, but... You know, the story is what it is. Uh, from a design standpoint, I feel like it was actually kind of cool to see that. I like this game better than the Avenger game. But that wasn't really... Uh, I don't know. It's like, comparably speaking, I really didn't like the end game in that game much. And the level design, you know, you're kind of like a limited area versus this is like a huge... It's like a huge open world spot. But if you get too far away, you're like out of bounds. So it's kind of the same, but not really. Um, being able to switch between characters, I wish you could kind of like alternate between during the missions. That'd be a nice change that they could do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall it was pretty solid. Not a bad game to kind of start the year off with. I feel like all the games coming out in 2024, I mean, I don't know what's all like dropping soon, but I'm like the next couple months pretty packed. But this fall, I'm assuming there'll be like a big game here or there. I don't know if it'll be like another DC type game. Because I can't really like, know any other companies that really use that. Last time I've seen DC stuff is the Telltale Games of Batman. This game. Injustice 2. Injustice. Yeah, I mean, that's that's about it. I mean, besides the Arkham games. I just I kind of wish that we were getting a Batman Arkham game. Even seeing Batman right there, he just looks so sick. Mine is like the purple eyes, you know? Um, but yeah, overall, it was decent. Thank you all for watching this. It was definitely a uh, unique experience. When I first saw the trailers and, like, some of the screenshots on Twitter, I was like, uh-oh, this might not be that good. But the game actually pretty good humor. The characters kind of bounced off each other a little bit better than I was expecting. It wasn't, like, the dialogue wasn't really as lame. I felt like some of the stuff was a little over the top, like, when they killed the Flash, they all, like, pissed on it. It's just weird, you know? Killing Batman, and it's like... The way they kind of sent him off, it almost felt like they were trying to be a little edgy. Kind of like The Last of Us with Joel, with the Batman thing. It kind of, like, hey, let's try something crazy, you know? But maybe they're not all dead. I mean, we killed them, but it was, like, under Brainiac's control. Maybe it was, like, an alternate universe where they're also alive. I don't know. I'm not sure how they could really bend the narrative or anything. I guess it kind of, I, I think whether or not we get another Batman game kind of depends on how this game performs, you know? Because it's like a double-edged sword, if it does too well, we may not get that. But if it doesn't do well, it didn't make enough money, so they can't make another game. So it's like, I don't know what they're going to do next. But overall, thank you all for watching. Really cool series to kind of check out. It was kind of nice to play it and not really know what was going to happen next. I mean, obviously, when the title is called Kill the Justice League, I had a, had a feeling, right? But I didn't expect, I was kind of hoping, like, earlier I said... I wish, like, when the Flash died, it was, like, more of a let's keep it on it for a little bit versus, hey, he's dead, dies, no cutscene, they just let's go on the next enemy, you know, or the next Justice League member that's possessed by Brainiac. They could have done so much more with the game, but I felt like the, here's what the game kind of felt like. It felt like the story was secondary to what is a looter shooter, kind of, you know? That's all it really felt like. It felt like the story was kind of tacked on to get to the end game how can we get to the end game and make it cool but like the graphics man like seeing batman and the flash on them up close even superman was like terrifying like if they made a superman game 
I bet it would sell like hotcakes. I really, I really do. It, it's just kind of something I hope that they go back to one day. Not sure what they're capable of, but the fact that we didn't get Arkham Knight. I mean, when did that game come out? Like nine years ago or something crazy? We had a VR game by them, and then was this. So there's not going to be any other stuff from them for a while, I feel like. It's almost felt like, wasn't it after Arkham Knight, they... Because everybody hated that game, which is kind of odd. Which I really liked Arkham Knight for what it was. I mean, if you watched, I did some videos on it like a year or so ago. I put like up to halfway point in the game, then I stopped. I should have just kept going, but it was kind of nice to revisit. But the game looked incredible on PC. And this game, it's crazy how this game doesn't look as good as I feel like that game does. Like just the first scene where you're like in the diner in Arkham Knight. Even like the waitress looks better than some of the character models. The game looked like more detailed in the city and everything. I don't know. I felt like overall what they were trying to do was, you know, hey, they accomplished it. I felt like as far as a loot-based game goes, they accomplished that. But the longevity is what I really want to see before I commit to the end game a lot. I may kind of like level up a little bit, try out different tiers, get some of the Bane stuff. See what it all kind of looks like after I've played for like a couple more hours after the ending. Anyways, love you all. Thanks for watching this series. It means a lot to me. I don't know what's after the ending, but I'm going to go ahead and skip the credits here in a second. And then kind of just see what, uh... See what pops up. I'm assuming like end game notifications if I had to just take a wild guess. <laughs> Here we go. Metropolis, this is Lois Lane. From all reports, it seems that Batman is gone. As Batman and as Bruce Wayne, everyone knew him. Everyone knew his voice. <sighs> Always prepared. He left a communication with the Daily Planet in the event of, well, it reads, when I put on the cowl, I became a symbol, but I never stopped being Bruce Wayne, citizen of Gotham. Remember that we are all handed adversity in our lives. No one's journey is easy. It's how we handle that how we help others that makes us unique. That's what the Batman will always stand for. Metropolis, we'll get through this. And Batman, goodbye. You will be missed, but never forgotten. I'm really happy they did that, because after Batman's death, I was kind of like, come on, like they can't send him off like that. That's a really sweet thing that they actually put at the end there. At least they acknowledged it, not just like rolling past it. Mission accomplished, question mark? Because they want you to do the exact same thing many, many more times. and keep under your pillow. I love how all the stuff we got from the final mission was all downgrades. <laughs> all right, the fight against Brain Ant will continue in season one and beyond. Interesting. That has me worried, like, what's beyond? What are they talking about? Okay, so it shows four characters. Let's check them out. We got Joker, and there's three other ones, but I don't really know... Uh, it's like I want to guess, but I'm not sure. Because it could be the outfits are just different. All right. Task Force X, whatever dimensional business this new Luther's got you doing, don't forget we got a war at home, too. If you think you're ready for tougher sorties against Brainiac's strongest invasion forces, go get them, Tigers. All right, so there's a lot of stuff to unlock. Production facility on Earth 2. Luther believes there's still valuable material you can recover. It's a risk I'm willing to take. What's his bloody earth? Why doesn't he go? Hello? So I'm assuming just once we Hello? go out of here, it's just basically the exact same thing as the ending over and over and over. The worst case scenario is. What does that say? Where you get the points. Yep. Okay, same as last time. 
It's called finite, but isn't finite supposed to be a limited thing? This is like unlimited. <laughs> all right, same thing as last time. All right, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. I think for now, I'm just going to like chill out, play it in my spare time, see how the end game kind of fills and kind of just go from there. But for now, this is it. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. Much love and take it easy. Peace.